Okay, here are a few little tips on drawing with charcoal. This is a Primo charcoal. General's charcoal also makes a charcoal pencil. The difference between these two, the Primo is a little bit more smooth, the General's charcoal is a little bit more gritty, and you will find some parts of hard charcoal in the General's charcoal. And if you do get that, you just rotate your pencil as you're drawing with it, and a lot of times it'll get that little particle out of the way. With the Primo, you usually don't have that issue. So what I'm gonna show is just demonstrate some ways to hold the pencils effectively to get the shapes and lines that you want. First off with your pencil, make sure that your tip is really sharp. If you have a nice sharp tip, you're not gonna get weird variation in values or line or edge qualities. So make sure that it's sharp. The other thing, if you hold it like a pen, this when you're drawing your stuff, then you're gonna get some variation and some dark lines because a lot of that weight is on the tip of the charcoal pencil. Way you lighten up your lines is hold it towards the back end of the pencil like this. And when you have it sitting on the page, you can create some really nice, soft, light values holding it at the edge. Just change the angle and create some more values. So weight goes on the hand and less weight is on the tip of the pencil. It just kind of like goes back and forth. We'll draw a vertical line here and I have this perpendicular to the line that I'm going to draw. I will usually get a nice soft edged line. Do you see how that just kind of softens out? Because it's using the width of the pencil to be able to create that line. If I come vertically and go with the line, meaning using the pencil parallel with the line that I'm going to draw, then I will get a nice, clean, sharp line. So good, clean, sharp line with the line that you're gonna draw. And you just change your angle like this to draw in those lines. If you want something softer, and the reason why you'd wanna use something softer is if you're gonna try to draw in a shape and you don't know exactly what that shape is going to look like or what the proportions are going to be, using the edge of your pencil will really help out. And then once you know what your shape is going to be, you can come back in and define that line going with the shape. If your pencil gets too short, kind of like this Primo's here, it's kind of short, get this nice little extender. You can buy these at almost any art store. This is a General's Extender number 205 medium. And you place it on the back and push the collar up like that. Now you have a nice long pencil. The nice thing about this too is that you're keeping your hand away from the page. So when you're drawing with the tip of this thing, you're not even getting remotely close to what you're working on. You can keep your hand away from your drawing. So I'd recommend experimenting and trying out how to hold your pencil in different ways to get as light of lines as you possibly can. Because if you try to erase these, we'll have a hard time being erased. So that line is erased, the softer edged line. You see how that erased? But you can still see a little halo. So make sure that you're drawing very light lines so that you can erase them. Use the side of the pencil to block in your shapes, and then use the line that's very thin and crisp to create those nice solid lines.